Another great one. Another great one. Yep. Tom McDonald. Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Tommy came out with, uh, um, I don't know what you call it. It's not a really a video. It's an upload, I guess. Anyhow, he, he did an upload called Freedom's Not For Sale. And it certainly isn't. And, and post our election here in America, happy to report that Donald Trump won. Now we can pick up the pieces. And it's going to be interesting. What's, what's going to be interesting to me is watching all of the crazy liberal women, specifically, and men, <clears throat> who believed all of the lies from the media and and see what their reaction is when when they don't lose their rights and when the world doesn't end and when the Department of Education may get eliminated but their personal school all of a sudden has to double the budget because they don't have to waste all that money on all that overhead maintaining this big bureaucracy. Let that money trickle down to the individual schools. Um, that kind of stuff is going to start happening here. And so it's going to be interesting to watch them wake up a little bit and realize how misled they were. And so um, I think that's going to be the backfire. If we can just make sure they continue to remember that uh, going into the next election cycle, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But all that said, let's listen to Tom McDonald's song, Freedom not for sale. I'm afraid there's no visuals for it, so um, I don't have to move very much here, but there we go. Give us a big old thumbs up, like, and subscribe. You ring a ding ding the bell so you get notifications. And here we go. <clears throat> My first time listening to this, so. We're standing in our driveways with things we're trying to sell. Just give me half what I pay. You got yourself a deal, oh. But the freedom's not for sale. Bring me a million dollars. Bring me a holy grail. A homemade Betty Crocker. Six pack of beer won't have. Freedom's not for sale <clears throat> Growing up I never had much All right. And so I learned to love what I've got yes, I did. It's stronger than diamonds It's not made in China It was made by us So come on down Sitting in the front yard With things that served us well They don't deserve the junkyard But they need someone else Oh The freedom's not for sale We ran ads in the paper Hung signs at corner stores Everything has a price tag And it could all be yours Growing up, I never had much All right. And so I learned to love what I've got yes, I did. 
It's stronger than diamonds. It's not made in China. It was made by us. So come on down. If you're in town. The people who will remember the brave and never forget the reasons why this country is great. We got poles in the front lawn, we're flying the flag, we're in a sweater that my grandma made. We are the people willing to fight to the grave. There ain't a thing I wouldn't do to keep my family safe. I'll never tell you how to live, and all I want is the same. With a house at the end of the lane. So come on down. If you're in town. Freedom's not for sale. Um, wow, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, of course, the sentiment, absolutely. Freedom's not for sale. We've, we've paid a very heavy price for the freedom that we have in this country. It's not just something that you're given. It's not a right that you have. It's not something that you even deserve. Our freedoms were hard won by those people who paid the ultimate price before you. And... Um, Frankly, you have the responsibility to pay the ultimate price for them after you. But that's a concept nobody wants to deal with anyway. Um, so, Tom, I think he did a great job. I do have an issue, however. <clears throat> it seems to me Tom has fallen into a pattern. The, the style, musically, um, seems to be repetitive not in and of the individual song, but in all of his songs. He's, he's doing the same stylistic things over and over and over again and in the same order to the point where, you, you know, they, they all start to sound alike after a while uh, and really could be interchangeable. Um, so I just would say I would challenge Tom to try to break out of that pattern, try to go to a different format of the way he's constructing his songs. Uh, mix it up a little bit. Put the bridges in different places. And <clears throat> when you change things up, you know, go a different direction, not the same direction you go in every one of your songs. So uh, just my opinion. I, I, I'm recognizing them as being repetitious in one song after another song after another song. They all sound stylistically, vocally, as Tom McDonald. Now, you're going to have that anyway, but I think the truly successful bands break out of that. You know, they they can do one style and then move into a completely different style with the same level of, of uh, uh, compassion, attitude, direction, you know, all those things that make a song great. So... Just my opinion. Get in the comments. Get Let me know if you disagree with me. I'm interested to know your thoughts on it. Uh, in the meantime, give me a big old thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Ring, ding, ding the bell. And I'll find something else for us to listen to.